Hi guys. Today we're going to be working on something a little bit interesting. I've done several other reversal tutorials here in the past, and this is going to be another one. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do E6 slides in C41 chemistry and still come out with a positive. This is not cross-processing, just in case you're wondering. It's not X-Pro. This will come out with a C41 developed, perfectly normal looking E6 slide that you'd have a hard time telling was not processed in E6 chemistry. Now I do this because E6 chemistry is a little bit expensive and doesn't last very long. And I always have C41 on hand. So it's just simpler for me to consolidate my processes and have a process where I can use my C41 chemistry for all of my color work, except for my K14, but we'll get into that at some point in the future. So anyway, I have gone out and I've taken my Contax G1 and I went for a little trip to the Portland Antiques Expo where I picked up a really nice roller cord, but that's for a different time. I shot a roll of Kodak Ektachrome P1600, which is an ISO 800 film that you can push to 16 or 3200. And I shot it at 1600 for this. I've taken that, I've loaded it into my development tank. So my first step is going to be exactly like it's been in a lot of my other uh, reversal processes. We're going to do a black and white first developer. This will develop a very dense negative that will become the mask for our color process later on in the process. So you're going to need HC110 and some way to heat up your chemistry. We're going to go with HC110B. Um, that's the dilution that I use. And we're going to go for 12 minutes at 105 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to take my tank, get some chemistry mixed up, and we're going to go for the 12 minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back from our first developer. We've just done our HC110 first dev for 12 minutes at 105. So I have then washed the film really thoroughly because our next step is going to be to take it out of the canister and expose it to light. So this is something you don't normally want to do during any sort of film process because you'll ruin the film. But in this particular case, the black and white first dev that we just made made a mask that will allow us to expose just the unexposed film so that we can make it into a reversal. So we're going to take it out of the tank and then you're going to want to hold it up to a bright light. Since I have a video light over here that's uh, lighting this scene, we're going to hold it up to the video light. And I'm going to go for several seconds on each side. And then we're going to put it back in. Now, I'll take a moment to point out that you should see, as you're looking at this, a very milky film with some black and white negatives on it. If you don't see that at this point, then you have probably messed up something in your first dev or your shooting, and your image is not going to turn out proper. So we're going to spool this back on the spool. And we're going to put it back in the tank. So the next step is going to be just regular everyday C41 color. So most kits are for th about three and a half minutes and you're just going to want to follow whatever the kit you have recommends at the temperature that your kit recommends. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that step and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, we finished with the color development step. So after a good wash, the next step is going to be to blix it. Now, because this has a little bit more developed silver than your regular C41 negative does, I usually say to blix for double the amount of time that your kit says. So if it's a six minute blix, you'll want to go for 12. This makes sure that all of the silver in the image is destroyed. Now, because the blix is destroying silver, it will destroy both the silver that is in the color process that you d just did, as well as the silver from the first mask. So because there's no color data in the silver from the first developer, that part will become the, the basis for the reversal. So basically that, that part will get bleached away and you will end up with a really nice color positive film if all goes right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the bleach step and we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, we're back from the final bleach and so now we're completely done with the process. Basically, if all went well, when you open this tank up, you should end up with some beautiful slides that look pretty much indistinguishable from what you would get from typical E6 film. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that. It may be a little bit hard in this video, but we have some wonderful transparency images there on this piece of film. So this means that this worked exactly like it should have, and you have a beautiful set of slides using absolutely no CD41 chemistry. So anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for you, that uh, you can use it to create some awesome slides yourself. Um, and if it works out, great, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If it doesn't work, let me know too. I'm super happy to help you debug things and see if we can figure out why. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, thanks for watching.